Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're going to be uh, measuring a roof using the roofer software. It's a website that you can use for free or buy the measurements. So we're gonna go to the dashboard. We click on start for free, but since I already have an account, I just go ahead and log in. And um, uh, right here we have the dashboard. This is uh, measurements that I've done before. Uh, but what, what we wanna do is go to DIY reports, do it yourself reports. Those are the ones that are free. And uh, you click on create a DIY report. So I already looked up an address of a roof that is gonna be uh, pretty simple to, to learn to measure it. This is just a random address that I put on the, on, uh, on Google. So we're gonna put the address right now. Uh, you are welcome to use the same address and go along with me uh, so you can learn how to do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, okay, so Richmond Avenue. So you go to this one, we click on continue and it's gonna give us the options. As a first time subscriber, the first one, it's free but then after that it's fifteen dollars but we want to do is go down and over here on the last almost the last picture the last picture uh we have it and draw it myself this is free as you can see right here so we click on it i always like to double check the pictures that are on the roofer app and the ones that are, are on Google. So you make sure it's the right house because if you can see right here, and we have the one with the swimming pool. So this is the one. Okay. So in order to start drawing, let's look at the draw tools. Over here on the, on the right hand side, uh, we have draw, that's our first one. That's the little square, that's to start drawing. Uh, we just to draw we just click on the corner we want to put our line and then we zoom in as needed and right there we have our line on the second tool we have move anchor point and we click on it to move the, the point to wherever we want it so you don't necessarily have to do it exactly on the corner on the intersection uh, because you can always move it around um, once you finish with all the perimeter and all the outline down here we have the little edges that's to delete it and the little edges or upload your own image so let's let's go to draw what i like to do is start with the perimeter and go all the way around so we're gonna go around over here on this side we just click on the on the spot where we want to put it right here we we have the gable it looks like we go right here and then right here we go down it moved a little bit but uh we're gonna we'll use it the, the move anchor point uh to put it where we want it okay So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to make a video or, or answer those questions. Okay, so we have our perimeter. So now uh, we simply just click on the dot again on the corner and then we go to, to the peaks of the, of the ridges of the, of the hip. So right here, we, we do our valley. We have a valley right here. We have another valley right here. And then a hip right here. We go to the back. We, we draw our, our peak or intersection. And we just put them together. We just connect the dots basically. Okay, 
right here we have a little intersection so it's about right here and it goes to this one we're gonna draw it right here to around here okay yes that's how it is put it together we bring this one a little bit back and that's how we have it okay so this is this will be a gable now that we have all the intersection and all the outline uh, we go ahead and go to edges on edges we have eaves eaves is the bottom the, the fascia the one that where the gutters go that's how you can remember eaves it's uh where the gutters go Okay, we go to valleys. We go to valleys, we simply mark them. The valleys. We have our hips. Our hips are right here. This little hips. There's another hip and then a little one right here. And our ridges. Our ridges will be up on top. This is our ridge, this is our ridge. Our ridge and our ridge. And for the rakes, is the gables, the gable sides, the ones going up the gables. Okay, so we mark it. And uh, right here, I I left behind a uh, an eave. Okay, so now now that we're uh, finished, we're going to go to facets. On facets, that's what where we're going to put our pitch. So we go to view pitch down here, and we're going to be able to see what pitch it is for this house. And it's not this house. That's why I tell you it's always important to to double check on like on a, a different site on Google Maps. Maps, for example, that's what I use. Uh, because it's actually this house right here is not the one on the other side sometimes that's how it gives it to you so you gotta make sure you're doing the right one you don't want to um, you don't want to measure the wrong house and much less do the wrong house uh, roof the wrong house because it's happened before <laughs> not to me but where I used to work before that's happened one time so this is a 612 if we if you see right here we align the this line with the gable and we have a 612 right here so we exit out of this uh, window and we go back and we we're gonna put a 612 on the whole house if it was just one side that it was a 612 we will click on the 612 and then just click on the side we wanted but since this is the whole the whole roof is 612 we're going to go ahead and click on this little square and it'll automatically do everything. So now that we're finally done with the uh, with the pitch, we're going to go ahead and download and get our measurements. We click download. You can have it sent to your email or just download it to your computer. I'm just going to download it and we're going to open it right now. Download now. It'll give it to you right away. And we're going to go to the last page. That's the important one. That's the one that has everything. So this is the measurement. Uh, total roof area, 31.26 square footage. Okay, uh, we're going to go down to the valleys. Okay, let's start with the valleys. Right here on the valleys, we have 59 foot of valleys. That's how you are gonna order your material. Hips, ridges rakes let's go down to hips and ridges 172 foot that's how you can order your your uh, hip and ridge and uh, hips and rakes that will be your drip edge or yes drip edge that's a 264 foot and remember always add about 10 percent 
uh, for the waste to count for the waste and right here we we have our square footage 3126 on most of the roofs I add a 10% this is the suggested waste 34 now you can choose whichever you want depending on the house when it's really cut up houses with a bunch of hips and uh, with a bunch of hips and valleys uh, we, we, we can put like 15% uh, but for this one we're going to use the 10% which is 3439 that's 34 squares and two bundles each bundle is 0.33 square there's three bundles per square on most of the shingles um, okay so we have 35 squares and that's that's basically everything we need then we can uh, get our our material material pricing out of all this information so that's pretty simple if you have any questions let me know down in the comments thank you guys for your support see you in the next video